at Chester's Monsoon Forest, Tripper's baby sister is two weeks old. While his mum, Emma, continues to care for her newborn, Tripper is still staying close by. Even though his boisterous cousins, Siska and Tuti, want to play with him. Now he's more on his own, then obviously the other two are kind of a bit more interested in him. And that should be a really positive thing. So if he starts engaging with them and playing with them, then that's really help his development. But with Tripper still reluctant to join in, keepers are beginning to worry that an underlying health problem could be holding him back. We've been monitoring Tripper over a period of time and physically his development seemed to not be quite catching up in relation to uh, his age. So we just felt that we should probably step in and make the decision to intervene just to check that there isn't anything going on that we can potentially address. So the only way to actually find out what's going on, how to help him, is to actually allow the vets to get a closer look at him, do various tests. So we don't know what's wrong with Tripper. Um, it could be any of a number of things. It could be genetic, it could be a behavioural issue, it could be any kind of physiological issue. So it's so important that we actually try and find out so we can look after him better in the future. Four-year-old Sumatran orangutan Tripper has been anaesthetised and exploratory tests are beginning to try and find the cause of his physical, developmental problems. An ECG stands for electrocardiogram, and that measures the electrical conductivity across the heart. So if there's any blockage in that electrical charge, that will come up on the trace for us to be able to see, and that indicates that the blood isn't pumping around the body as well as it should be. It's a very small amplitude ECG, so that can either be pericardial effusion or, yeah. It turned out that the main issue was some uh, fibrosis of the heart muscle. His heart contracts very well. Yeah. But his heart valves and how the heart relaxes looks a little bit restrictive. What we can confirm now from Tripper's findings is that he is definitely what we call hypothyroid. The thyroid issues can actually cause the same sorts of heart issues that we've been seeing. So if we can fix the thyroid gland, because he's still developing and young, we should be able to um, uh, hopefully fix the, um, the heart changes. We at least have part of the answer as to why he's the way he is. The vets plan to treat Tripper with a thyroid replacement hormone, and they hope that this will improve his condition long term.